Hey everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a report based on your table here. And we also have a query from our last video. If you don't know how I got to this point, then you need to go back in time and watch another video. And then, uh, then skip ahead to this one once you have your uh, database done. So in this I'm just going to be showing how to create a report. And uh, this will be really easy. So of course you're going to be starting off in your home tab here. And... Um, we're going to go over to our create tab and uh, we're going to go ahead and click on report wizard here so let's go ahead and click on that and uh, we're going to create a report with the customer name uh, I guess zip code and phone number so we're just going to click that and if you want to switch these you just click on them uh, if you want to choose a different table if you have to say uh, then you could choose from queries as well and then we'll just do it on my first table because that's where we want to go from we're gonna click next and uh, in this you could pretty much group which levels you want as in uh, in which order you want it but pretty much what I do is when I select uh, when I select what I want in there I just uh, select it by priority so if I wanted the zip code first then I would of course select that first and then that would come up first so uh, if that's how you want to do it, then there you go. And if not, then you just change the order by clicking it and then clicking over. And we're not going to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and click Next. And uh, you really don't want to mess with this. Uh, you can sort fields, which basically mean well, we we wouldn't have to do that because we only have uh, we're only generating a thing with um, three fields or something like that. I think three fields. And uh, but if you had more than that, then you could choose. Uh, four of which you want on top because it will only show four by default so which which ones do you want first and um, so anyways we're just going to be going ahead and skipping that and clicking next and uh, we do want to keep it tubular because if you notice you know columnar or sorry columnar and justified both look a little bit strange so tubular looks nice and neat uh, and also landscape is for when you have uh, a few fields that you're doing it for or more than this uh, portrait, uh, portrait of course is longer but skinnier. So that's for when you have only a few fields, but a lot of uh, a lot of records. So for each field. So then um, we do want to adjust it so it all fits on one page, even though we only have three fields. So it really doesn't matter. And uh, we can just go ahead and click next. And then uh, we want, let's see, we do want office, or we could choose access this is basically like what format you want your titles and subtitles and all that and uh, we want to choose access 2007 because uh, I don't really like the rest of these I do actually like concourse though so so yeah if you want to go with concourse let's go with that and click next and then uh, what do you want to name it basically uh, we'll go ahead and name this my first report so you get a hang of that and then uh, we can preview the report but uh, this is fine so we're gonna go ahead and click finish and then here's our report basically it's uh, uh, the customer name zip code and phone number and we can change this by uh, let's see we can write or actually let me see yes okay now um, this is where it gets like really ugly looking but what we do is we just pretty much um, close out of this because we don't need to modif uh, modify that at all and then what we do is we just uh, click the report and we want to save it so let's go let's try this one there we go save and then we can click off of this and uh, go into a different one so now obviously when we print this uh, let's see we want to view it like this and then uh, then we can go to let's see here then print then print and then you just choose your printer from there but but anyways this is how you uh, view the report how you you know make a report generate a report whatever you want to call it and uh, if you want to edit the size of these then what you would do is open it back up in that special view we had going on there which um, I believe uh, that would work but we don't want to do that we want design view there we go and then what you do is you just pretty much select which one you want to resize and uh, you just drag it 
like uh, let me see if I can get it here so I can't get it there we go there, wait wait er, I had it there we go and then you just resize it to whatever size you need it to be so I have to answer my phone um, Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, that was my girlfriend. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, so that's how you resize it. You just pretty much have to fiddle with it until you get it right on there because otherwise sometimes it'll be a little bit difficult. And you're working with a... Gosh darn it. Okay, there we go. You're working with a tiny space. But remember that uh, a lot of the time this has automatically been sized so that everything fits and it's all nice and neat. So... Um, don't worry if you know you can't resize it perfectly it will it will automatically size it so it all fits on one page and you can set it up to be you know sideways right side up whatever whatever you want to do and of course you can add all kinds of crazy stuff and I'll be going through this in more videos uh, on how to modify reports and uh, yeah so um, anyways hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial I know it was a bit jumpy but uh, hopefully you got it and uh, I will see you next time.